Good morning, everybody from beautiful Germany. I am Tanya. Welcome to Tanya's Tea Time. This is for the sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs in Aries. I hope everybody's doing well. And I have... Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's get into it. <laughs> I have for you the Six of Swords. Uh, this is letting go of something, uh, some sort of baggage, something that was holding you back. Um, headed towards something better. Uh, this is your like right of path, like your right, your right, right way. Uh, to go but you're carrying with you some sort of um emotional baggage it might have been really hard for you to leave behind um or you feel a sense of loss because you had um some sort of conflict uh over this but going in your new path is helping you in this moment um, to be independent, um, to be focused on what you want, your goals, to not be afraid to put yourself out there. That is where you're, you're headed, even though you're carrying with you some heaviness in the moment, you're becoming the independent Aries that you are. You might have had something holding you back, but no longer. That's done. The conflict is over. Um, the hangman in reverse. It's like needing to take a pause, but avoiding it. Or if you've taken that pause already, this could be a sign that you're ready now to move forward. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like you're moving forward with new energy. <sighs> Coming out of this heaviness here, moving forward into new energy, independence, um, Good energy flow. That's really tapping into nature. Um, stable emotions, um, your intuition, your creative um, part of you right now is like on fire. Um, you may even have people in this time that really trust you and look up to you, coming to you for advice. Um, you're socially connected. You're socially connected. And people really look up to you in this, in this time because they've seen that you've moved out of this. I feel like this is you coming out of a, a pause. That's what I really feel. I feel that this is coming out of a moment that you were in that was heavy. Mm. That brought you conflict, that um, br brought you some sort of emotional sadness. Uh, but this is where you're at now this week. You are here. You're feeling good. Feeling good from the things around you too, not just yourself, but you're feeling really, really good um, that you came out of that, whatever that was for you. Only you know the answer to that. Ace of Wands. Um, it's a new opportunity. Could be in love, could be in um, finances, could be a new idea. 
Um, you might be looking for a sign if this is the right thing for you at this time, whether this be a project or um, a love interest of some kind. This would be a yes. Uh, <laughs> this might be also um, self-investment into yourself in learning in some way, shape, or form, whether this be a course that you're taking um, for self-improvement. Um, some people do like these life uh, coach courses or they're looking into spirituality courses. Um, whatever this is for you, it will bring about growth. And it's definitely a yes. If you were looking for a yes answer. <laughs> and then you have the Nine of Pentacles. This is your abundance, your independence. She's beautiful. Um, this is high vibe energy. This is um, you being in tune with nature. Um, finances are good. So, yeah. Good job for getting out of this. Because now you're on the right path to get to this. And you're doing it in such a way that people are really, really, really looking to your light. Looking to who you are um, and what you can really give to people. You are so connected to so many people at this time um it's it's beautiful it's really really beautiful and shine your light be that light that the universe is um asking you to be too you might be able to help other people in this time because people do trust you you are a light and the universe is shining a light on you in this time. Yeah, this, this is gone. This is, this is over. You're coming out of, you're coming out of that. For that. And, um, yeah, invest in yourself. Um, take that new opportunity. It's a yes. I hope that helped you in some way, shape, or form, Aries. Thank you for coming here and any cross watchers. Thank you for being here as well. If this did not resonate for some reason, please check your other signs, your, your moon, rising, Venus signs as well. Um, I'm going to slowly put out the other signs as well. Give me some time, please. But this is for the last week of September into the first couple of days of October 2021 for Aries. If you have interest in hearing more tarot messages and oracle card messages, please give me a like, a subscribe. I look forward to seeing you here on the next one. And thank you so much, everyone, for your support. I woke up to 25 new subscribers today. And I just started this channel. This channel is young. It's a baby. <laughs> so thank you so much. It really means a lot because that means there's 25 of you out there that would like to hear some more. And... I like being here with you.